Hello everyone, this is Admiral Klerovsky bringing you Atlantic Fleet, Battle of the Atlantic, continued as Britain. Uh, we're in week 3.5 of May 1940. We have lost seven squares on the Tonnage War. But we're holding on. We've lost seven, we've got 13 left. Hopefully we can hold on until America joins. Oh, well, this will be quite interesting. In the North Atlantic, in cloudy weather in week 3.5 of May 1940, the light cruiser Sheffield with medium damage and the destroyer Vigo with no damage have come under attack at noon from the submarines U156, U161 and U37. Oh, excuse me, the submarines have the initiative. Please don't do a point blank range shot. So that's not looking good. So there's no sonar on the Sheffield, so technically I, I'm not allowed to do anything. Oh, right. Right, of course. Um, uh, hmm. I don't like where this is going, so I'm going to go backwards. Go harder port. Is that going to work or not? Can I drop a torpedo in? Uh, no, I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not breaking the game. Please don't break. It's all fine. We're all good, we're all good. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not trying to do any funny business. Right. Um, I'm actually going to have the Vega go for some of these other ones down here in order to protect the Sheffield a bit better. Five thousand one hundred and sixty-five. No air support, of course. But then again, that's to be expected. Ah, no! Oh, honestly, cutting it kind of close, aren't we? That's what we're doing. Hmm. That's exactly what we're doing. Well. Uh, I am really tempted to try and do it, but then again I don't want to break the game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go flank hard as starboard and make smoke and hope that that gets me away. 5003. Alright, let's go 20 degrees to starboard and stand by the torpedo tubes. Good, we're close enough. That's a very welcome sight. Four torpedoes should be enough to deal with these submarines. So let's drop one in already. Mind you, this is the one that's fired all four torpedoes, so it's not really that big of a threat, but nevertheless it can still fire torpedoes later. Torpedoes away from U-37 and it seems these are intended for my destroyer. U-156 sunk, so even if this goes horribly wrong, we've, we've, we've managed to sink at least one submarine. Um, no torpedoes have been fired here. So yeah, I'm going to actually continue going as we have been. Out of starboard and make smoke and try and get out of there. Right, it's going to have to be backwards this time. 
and harder port. Come on, let me let me turn. Right, I think we just about managed to escape those. Torpedo away towards my destroyer from U-161. U-37, no action. I'm so scared the Shekel's going to get hit and sunk. But so far, we seem to be holding on. Just. Just about. I think one more turn and we should... Should be well. We're not in the clear, but we're oh wow. We are closer to being in the clear than we were before. We've got one heading this way. Uh, <laughs> Flank and harder port. Run! Right, I think we can. Oh, can we? Can we call that safe? I think we can. Just. Just about. Oh! So close. But we we, 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 we weren't hit, so... You know, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yes, we can disengage! Oh, I, I can't believe that! It let us disengage, and we weren't a million miles away! My goodness. Seems like I've broken the game except in the opposite direction this time. It lets me disengage with the submarine next to me. An enemy submarine, that is. Well, I'll only be too happy to take advantage of that opportunity. Yeah, 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 your torpedoes are useless now. Your torpedoes can't hurt me now. Even if you fire them like that. There's just one now, so one is very easy to avoid. In fact, I'm probably going to avoid it right now by turning 20 degrees to port. Stand by the torpedo tubes. We have three left. And two submarines left to sink. So we should have one left over. Yep, that's not a threat to us at all. In fact, I think I'd struggle even to get in front of it now, even if I tried. So here comes another one, hopefully sunk. Yep, that's U-161 sunk. So now it's just U-37 that I would need to deal with. And they're quite far away. Almost 8,000 yards away. But don't worry. Don't worry, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a torpedo for you as well. Don't you worry now. Good. Let's continue the turn. Seven thousand two hundred now. You can oh, that that they're, they're persistent. They're persistent. I'm gonna give them that one. They're very persistent with what they're doing. But that's basically all I can give them, because they're not really doing that good of a job. You'd be much better off, I'm not saying I want them to do that, I'm just saying that you're much better off holding your torpedoes and then waiting until the destroyer is much closer, which means it has much less of an opportunity to try and move out of the way. No action. I'll just move it forward on this occasion. Okay? pretty simple. They've not fired a torpedo. They'll probably fire one now. No action still. Well, that's fine. We'll go harder port. Stand by the torpedo tubes. We'll drop a torpedo in. We'll, we'll be the first ones to do it, actually. So, that's always a bonus as well. We've dropped one in now. Even if they decide to fire at us now, which they have done, it'll be it, it's it's too late. It's too late because our torpedo will get to its target first. 
There we go, U-37 has been sunk. Well, that's uh, quite a successful engagement. Um, action report on the British side. The light cruiser Sheffield ends with medium damage. The destroyer Vega ends with no damage. On the German side, the submarines U-156, U-161 and U-37 were all sunk for 1,032 tons each. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. 3,096 warship tons sunk on the German side and zero merch merchant ship tons sunk on the German side. 3,096 renown earned. Sargasso Sea, Allied merchants attacked by warships, 69,740 tons of merchant shipping sunk. Excuse me. That's in week 3.5 of May 1940. Brazil South Seaboard, Allied merchants attacked by submarines, 42,270 tons of merchant shipping sunk in week 3.5 of May 1940. Again, it's in the same area as. as as that. Alright, then I'll, I'll send the Renown in and, and the Vanity. Why don't you come out and fight us now? Have we lost a, t a square on the tonnage war again? I believe we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not good. We've lost eight out of twenty now. Uh, but we need to send... Um, we need to send the Vega back for... Um, rearming. Oh, for goodness sake. Bay of Biscay, Allied merchants attacked by warships, 69,550 tons of merchant shipping sunk in week 4 of May 1940. Uh, do I send someone in here? Well, not really, no, because, well, <laughs> there's no convoys in here. Why are we being attacked and losing tonnage in an area where there were no convoys? Ah, but either way, whatever, have, have it your way. Uh, have we got any heavy ships here? Oh, this is the one that's going to be weakened now. You know what, on account of the danger that exists here... Oh, I... I'll move the Suffolk up. I'll move the Suffolk up. Uh, right, um... I'll keep them there for a little while longer. United Kingdom, warship attacked by Axis aircraft, destroyer Aishwan received heavy damage in week 0 0.5 of June 1940. Well, that's no good. We'll need to send the Asia in for repairs. X turret is destroyed, but the fact we've got heavy damage means we need to send Asia in for some repairs pretty much immediately. So that means we need we need to call the Blanche back, and the Antelope will go in here. Uh, yes, let's get the Vega in to Gibraltar for some rearming one turn, so not too big of a problem. Right, Western approaches in rainy weather in week 1 of June 1940. The destroyers Active and Boreas have come under attack in the evening from the submarine U-85. U-85 has the initiative. So U-85 fires off a salvo of torpedoes. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to say backwards and harder pause and hope that that just about covers it. Uh, I'm not sure if it does. Can we even launch torpedoes at this? No. And there's no air support either. How lovely. I'm trying to get all the supplies through in the world to you and you're unable to provide an aircraft in return. <sighs> Breathe a sigh of relief. We've managed to survive. Right, now we can go flank. We can go 15 degrees to starboard. 
Stand by the torpedo tubes and now I'm going to show you why that's not a very nice thing to do. You don't fire torpedoes at destroyers like that. Very nasty what you've done. And now it's my turn to drop a torpedo in. Uh, go on, let's have you spin around again. It, it's not critical that we do this, but we might as well. You can move all you want. The result is still the same. U85 is sinking. Action report. On the British side, the destroyers active and Boreas received no damage whatsoever. On the German side, the submarine U85 was sunk for 800 tons. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. Warship tons sunk on the German side, 800. Merchant ship tons sunk on the German side, 0. 800 were now earned. Oh! <laughs> no! How? How? Like, how are we supposed to do this? In the Azor Isles, in most Bissani weather, in week 1 of June 1940, the destroyer Jervis has somehow managed to stumble into the battleship Gneiser now in the evening, because we have the initiative. Um, is it even worth attempting? No. No, I, I have the initiative, but you... you <laughs> Good. It means that I can get I can get a head start on trying to disengage. They're not letting me go, are they? No, of course not. I will run away. I'm going to bravely run away. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I don't see how the Jervis can take on the Gneiser now at a distance of 23,000 yards. I don't see how I can do that. And I would quite like to, you know, hold on to the Jervis, as I would with every ship I have. I'd like to hold on to it, so <laughs> run away it is. Quick! Everything you've got! Everything you've got! Tell the engine room to give me everything they've got! Course away from Gneiser now! Oh, phew. Alright, we did it. So, fairly boring action report. Action report on the British side, the destroyer Jervis received no damage. On the German side, the battleship Gneisenau received no damage. Nothing sunk in either category. On either side, zero renown earned. Oh, for goodness sake! What is it with these Axis aircraft in the UK? United Kingdom, warship attacked by Axis aircraft, the destroyer Antelope received heavy damage in week 1 of June 1940. STOP BOMBING MY AIRCRAFT! I mean, stop bombing my aircraft, what am I saying? STOP BOMBING MY DESTROYERS! What have they done to the Antelope? Four torpedo tubes destroyed and AAA with light damage. Well, we're going to have to send the Antelope in for repairs now. Great. Heavy damage every single time. I'm going to have to keep it at three. Nope. Send Blanche in then. Uh, Vega can now come out. Oh, but you know what? I've got a, a bit of an idea. If I just temporarily swap these round, Maybe we could get an engagement with the um, with the renown. Oh! oh my goodness! I don't think this would actually happen, but here we are. Oh, this is going to be one one cracker of an engagement in the North Atlantic in rainy weather in week 1.5 of June 1940. The battle cruiser Renown, which has got light damage, and the destroyer Vanity, and the, who are escorting the merchant ship C2 freighter, have intercepted in the afternoon of the battleship Gneiser now. Oh, this is going to be so exciting! 
Wow, wow, wow. Look at that, Renown! Hello! It's, it's been a while. It has been a, a very long while. But, here we go. Oh, this will be... Place your bets now on who's to win this. Place your bets now, because this is going to be exciting. I'm going to tell you this right here, right now. Um, 14.1 is suggested. So let's do exactly that. Uh, there is a strong wind. So I'm going to put the guns about here. Or even no, maybe just put them all the way. Nope, I'll put them here for now. Right, Renown, open fire. Shoot! Here we go. Right, so the elevation was good. The correction for the wind, not so good. Right, what we'll do with the vanity. How many torpedoes do you have? Six. Good. Good, good, good. I will use the freighter in an offensive way. Because the Renown will need support. Here we go. Who are they going to go for? Going for the Renown. And they've scored a devastating hit already. Right, what have they hit? Propulsion AAA with light damage. There's the elite gunnery of Germany for you. Right, one third speed immediately. reason for that is, of course, to help put the fire out. Although it is raining, so I'd like to think the fire will be put out very quickly. Guns go here this time. Um, 64, 14-1 was good. I will. I might just ever so slightly decrease it. I'll go 13-8. Shoot! Do you know what? I'm not going to correct for the wind at all then, if that's what we're doing. I'm not going to correct for the wind at all if that's what we're doing. Am I playing with the correct settings on? Oh, that was close. I'm not sure if we are. If oh, this would be such a shame if, if it turned out I was playing with the wrong settings on. Oh, I don't want to be playing with the wrong settings on. I want to be playing with the right ones on. I want everything as it should be. I'm not going to correct the wind this time then. Shoot! One hit. I think, yeah, I. It's rather embarrassing that I, rather embarrassingly, I say this, but I do think I've got the wrong settings on. Ouch. Triple A with heavy damage now. Well, if we are playing with the wrong settings on, that means that the guys in there will continue to fire for as long as it's physically possible for them to do so. Ooh, well, I suppose that's some way of balancing it out, I suppose. Shoot! Right, they're on fire as well. Got our little destroyer here, also trying to close in and do something. No! Oh, for goodness sake. I think we might lose the renown in this engagement. It's a possibility. Main spotter, light damage, main radar, heavy damage. 
I don't want to lose the renown though. The renown is important and we need the renown. Shoot! Alright, that's something. Something at the very least. But I've got a feeling it might not be enough. Bullet side away. It's one of my turrets destroyed. Well, you've got to keep doing what you've got to keep doing. Um, yeah, we've, we're, we're playing on the wrong settings. Oh, well, that's going to take the shine off it, isn't it? I'll go maybe 11.3. I'm aiming for those turrets, though. I want one of those turrets destroyed. Shoot! Well, it's something. We're 14,000 yards away from the Gneiser now. But I'm not even going to be that happy that even if we do manage to sink it. Because I'm playing on the wrong settings. I'm playing on the easy ones. Ouch. Yeah, the Renault's going to be sunk. some high explosives then. I'll go up a tiny bit to 11.5 maybe. Actually no, I'll go 11.2. Shoot! Oh, we missed! Oh, that's rubbish. We only went ahead and missed completely. I'm just going to have to hope that Renown can just soak up a lot more punishment. Ouch! No! Renown is sinking. There's, there's this vanity against... Uh, mm, vanity against the Scharnhorst. Only. What was the final damage upon sinking for the... Oh, I can't check. You can, but not right now. Now let's check. So, Renown unfortunately sinking. Final damage upon sinking. Propulsion, main radar, light damage, beta, and triple A destroyed. That's a real shame. I, I really thought we could have we could have done something here. Well, well, we'll watch the Renown sink because, well, it's the heaviest ship we've got. Even heavier than the War Spite in terms of you know tonnage. War Spite might be a bit more powerful, but unfortunately. We've just lost our second most powerful ship. And that's a bad thing, without really that much in the way of compensation. As if the Gneiser now is completely battered. Well then, yeah, then, then, then we do have some compensation for that, but not really. I mean, what have we got? A couple of holes here and there, a fire that's been put out, and ever so slightly reduced speed in return for the renown. I, I don't think that's, that's sufficient compensation. So, what the Germans have done is is really good for them. That's what they've done. They've managed to take out the main threat in exchange for virtually no damage suffered themselves. 
Well, there goes the Renown. That's the last we'll see of her, unfortunately. I've got no idea how far away I am from the Gneiser now. Nevertheless, I will continue to steam and make smoke. Can we see how far away? No. Nevertheless, continue to use the freighter in an offensive way. For as long as possible. And that will work right up until the moment that the freighter will sink. Because after that, they're going to switch fire to the vanity because there'll be nothing left. Secondary explosion now. I'm, I am just... It's not looking good for me in this engagement. I'm trying to hurry up. Because I know that this... Yeah. I thought I might get away with one more salvo directed at the, um, at the freighter, but I was a little bit too slow. Ah, uh, come on. We can't walk away like that. That's... That's just really bad, like in every single way imaginable. We lost both the Renown and the Merchant, and we're about to lose the Destroyer in pretty much in return for no in return for nothing. AAA was heavily damaged on the C2 freighter. Nope, I will continue to steam in because there's there's no there's no point firing your torpedoes when you know that there's not really a good a good chance of you hitting the target. Good, we're turning, they're turning, they can't quite get their aim right. That's alright, I, I still can't quite make out how far away they are. I do however think this is the last one now before we turn and fire. Yep, that's, that's a hit. We're going to turn on fire now. Yes. Right, harder port. Stand by the torpedo tubes. I know it's in the wrong settings. I know it's easier than it should be, but... What can you do? I... I, I... If I... If I would be able to do it on the normal... On the, the default settings for me, I would have done it there but I just I just didn't realize so yeah um, 28.5 um, I'll call it three so I'll say down to 73.6 and because they like to turn I'll put one at 4.6 put another one at 2.6 1.6 go on 5.6 and then the last one 0.6 right now if you can stay alive for this turn we should be able to sink them I think fire away all six if they obliterate me now it's going to be very annoying but if they don't it'll be very nice from the Gneiser now, and we managed to sink them. There we go, right, well. You may have battered us, but we've battered you harder. Right, our torpedo tubes heavy damage, AAA destroyed on the vanity, but that's not the most important thing here. This is the most important thing here. Gneiser now. Final damage upon sinking. Propulsion pumps, port torpedo tubes, heavy damage, seat turret destroyed. I will admit, this was on the default settings. It wasn't on the uh, the settings I would personally use. So that 
full full disclosure here. It's not as this was this battle wasn't as hard as it should have been. Unfortunately. Uh, but then again, I mean, if you can hardly notice the difference, can you really claim that it's that much different? The shooting was good, so either way. But actually, I'm going to check the settings after this. Because I think what I may have um, done is... Uh, I may have had Elite Gunnery on, but just not the wind affecting the shells. Because I, I genuinely can't remember what the settings were that I used before. We will, of course, watch the guys now sink, because it's just such a lovely sight. Even if some of the shine has been taken off by the fact that I've not actually used the proper settings. But either way, I don't care. I don't care. That's the second of the German battleships sunk, which means no big bad German battleships in the Atlantic for three, no, for two and a bit months. <laughs> no, that's not really brilliant, is it? It's two and a half months. And unfortunately, the next ones that are going to be out, Bismarck and Tirpitz, they're really, really bad. Like, they're even worse. I mean, don't even get me started on the H-39 class. Ugh. Those are just out like monsters. I would need a battleship myself to even so much have a, even have a chance of taking on a H-39 or a, or a Bismarck. But with the renown that I'll have picked up from sinking the Scharnhorst and Gneiser now, I think I can get myself a replacement. Because we did lose the Renown. So now, if anything, in order to maintain the balance of the fleet, I should get a heavier ship. I know which one I'm going to get. Because it's, it's the one that I used in... Um, in previous playthroughs, and it has served me well, generally speaking. Loki tempted to get a destroyer and a battleship, but um, we'll see. We'll see. For now, Gneiser now sinking. That's what we're going to have a look at. Well, that's what we'll continue to have a look at because that's what we've been looking at for the past few minutes. I know some of you might not like this whole idea of me saying to watch the ship sink, but when you've had a ship that's sunk so many of your ships, and when it's finally down, you just can't help but watch it go under because it's just so satisfying. Most of the ship has sunk already anyway. So, there's not really that much longer left to watch anyway. Hopefully if we can sink Bismarck Tepes and H-39s, I'll also stay behind to watch them sink as well. So this is the last of the Scharnhorst class, like I said. Scharnhorst was sunk, uh, when? Well, if you've been watching the episodes, you'll 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 know. Um, if you just happen to randomly stumble onto this one, then um, I do recommend you go and watch the Battle of the Atlantic as Britain series from the beginning. And you'll find out the episode in which the Shambles was sunk as well. And of course, go and watch everything else as well. Battle of the Atlantic as Germany, the campaign as Britain and Germany, all the single battles from both sides and a whole host of custom single battles that you will not find anywhere else. Just about see some of the bow still, still sticking above the water. It was covered now but it'll come back. No? It's not coming back? 
and it would seem not. Right, well, either way, this is what we managed to achieve. Galizer now sunk. Let's head back to the only ship that survived, the Vanity, and press done. Right, a bit of a mixed bag. Action report. On the British side, the battlecruiser Renown was sunk for 37,500 tons. The destroyer Vanity received medium damage. The merchant ship C2 freighter was sunk for 5,500 tons. But on the German side, the battleship Gneisenau was sunk for 32,100 tons. Warship tons sunk on the British side 37,500. Merchant ship tons sunk on the British side 5,500. Warship tons sunk on the German side 32,100. Merchant ship tons sunk on the German side 0. 32,100 were now earned. Right, seeing as I've got an opportunity now to not do an engagement, um, I will. Oh, well, that's the. I'll check what. I'll check how long this episode has been going on for and then decide whether to finish it here. So this has been going on now for 41 minutes, which is ample time, I think, for an episode. But I will step out of here and check the options. Right, 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 right. So as it turns out, the options weren't that far off. Battle of the Atlantic was at hard difficulty. We had elite enemy gunnery. But I want to turn this on. Wind effects player shells, enemy ships can disengage and no enemy damage report. So really the only thing that we were missing was just the wind effects and the shells. We had the elite gunnery, we had hard difficulty, um, that was pretty much it. Right, I suppose these just make it a little bit more authentic. But anyway, I haven't forgotten about the um, stats, which we will have a look at now. Uh, have we lost another square on the tonnage wall? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, it's still 8. Right. We're in week 2 of June 1940. Um, 12 naval vessels sunk for Britain, unfortunately. We we did lose the renown, tragically. 400 merchants sunk, almost 1.5 million tons. Uh, but the Germans have lost 88 naval vessels. So it's still 1 to 7 kill ratio. Uh, over a quarter of a million tons now, thanks to the uh, Gleiser now. Allied merchants sunk per month is 145,000, so it has ticked up a little bit, but not by a huge amount. And yeah, in the next episode, we will get a replacement for the Renown. If we just have a look at the ships lost. Biggest blow yet, the loss of the Renown, 37,500 tons. But look at the ships they've lost. Lutzau, Admiral Graf Spey, Blucher, Prinz Eugen, Admiral Scheer, uh, Admiral Hipper, and then of course who could forget the two biggest prizes that we could possibly pick up at this stage of the war, Scharnhorst and Gneisenau. I'm not sure you'd trade all of those for the Renown, even the Beric, and that's basically it. I think they're still getting the rough end of the deal here. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. That is all from Admiral Playerovsky for this video. If you enjoy the content, if you're enjoying the series, if you enjoyed that sinking of the Gneiser now, then do leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye for now.